Welcome to the spoken tutorial on viewing a presentation. In this tutorial, we will learn about view options and their uses, master slides, layouts for the slide. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5 Let's open the presentation sample-impress.odp which we saved earlier. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. LibreOffice Impress has many view options that help to create a good presentation. This is the normal view. If the presentation is in any other view, return to the normal view by clicking on the normal tab. Let's learn how to change the design of the slides. Click on the slide titled Overview in the Slides pane. Go to the sidebar on the right hand side. Click on the section named as Master Slides. Under Master Slides, there are three sections. Used in this presentation, Recently used and Available for use. The slide design used in this particular presentation is seen in Used in this presentation. Let's change this now. From the available for use section, select any slide design of your choice. I am selecting the classy red slide design. Notice the change in the design of the slide in the workspace. See how easy it is to change the slide design. Close the master slide section by clicking on the X on the top right corner. Next, we will see the outline view. Click on the outline tab in the workspace. Alternatively, we can see the outline view by clicking on the view menu in the menu bar. Then click on the outline option. In the outline view, all slides are arranged one below the other just like a table of contents. Each slide in the workspace appears as a thumbnail with the slide number on the left and the slide heading appears next to the thumbnail. Notice that the overview slide heading is highlighted. That indicates we were on the overview slide when we selected the outline tab. Notice these black dots before each sentence in the form of bullet points. When you hover the mouse over these bullet points, the cursor turns into a hand. Let's learn how to move a line item up or down to rearrange them within a slide. Select the line item, explain the long term course to follow in the overview slide. Go to the formatting bar at the top left. Click on the up arrow icon named as move up. Notice that the selected line item moved one level up. Again, go to the formatting bar at the top left. Click on the down arrow icon named move down. Notice that the selected line item moved one level down. We can also move selected line items across slides. In the formatting bar, once again, click on the down arrow icon. Notice the selected line item now moved to the slide titled Short Term Strategy. Let us undo these changes by pressing Ctrl plus Z keys. Our presentation appears in its original form again. Next, we will use the slide sorter view to rearrange the slides. Click on the slide sorter tab in the workspace. 
Alternatively, you can see the slide sorter view by clicking on the view menu in the menu bar. Then click on the slide sorter option. This view is useful to sort the slides in the desired order. Click on the slide number 3 and drag the slide before slide number 2. Now click anywhere in the slide sorter view. Notice that both slides get rearranged. Let us undo these changes also. Next, we will see the notes view. Click on the notes tab in the workspace. Alternatively, we can see the notes view by clicking on the view menu in the menu bar. Then click on the notes option. In the notes view, we can write notes that will help us during our presentation. Click on the click to add notes text box below the slide on the workspace. Type some text inside it like I am doing here. Now click anywhere outside the text box. When our slides are viewed on a projector, we will still be able to see our notes on our monitor. But our audience won't see them on the projector screen. Now let's click on the normal tab again. We can either show or hide the sidebar on the right hand side of impress window. To do so, click on the view menu in the menu bar. Then check or uncheck the sidebar option. This will show or hide the sidebar on the right hand side accordingly. Next, let's learn how to change the layout of a slide. Click on the properties section from the sidebar and then go to the layouts property. Then go to the title content over content layout and click on it. This changes the layout of the slide. Alternatively, click on the slide layout icon drop down in standard toolbar. By clicking on any of the layouts, you can change the layout of the slide. Let us save all these changes we made in our presentation by clicking on the save icon and then close the file. With this, we have come to the end of this spoken tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about view options and their uses, master slides and layouts for the slide. As an assignment, open practice-impress.odb file. Change the slide design of slide 3 using master slides. Interchange slide numbers 2 and 3. Change layout of slide 4 to title and to content. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The spoken tutorial project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This spoken tutorial was originally contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This is Arvind and Manish from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.